Hi ladies, this is Amarise25 and I'm coming to you today with some words of encouragement. Now, I have been on my healthy hair care journey for, in November it will be my fourth hair anniversary and that is definitely a milestone. Um, I am a woman who has always struggled with her hair. Ever since I was about nine years old, I remember I had very painful memories of me and my mother trying to put one of those kitty perms in her hair. And one thing led to another. She kept it on too long and my hair just broke all off, like all off in the back of my head really badly. And... I remember having to have all of my hair cut off short like a boy would have his hair, you know, cut real close. And I remember, you know, at nine years old, you don't have any curves. And you're, you know, about that time, you're, you're not really into how you look, but you're starting to care what people think about you. And I remember being so traumatized and just battered. Um, by the fact that I had to have all my hair cut off and people would you know say oh look at that little boy you know is that a boy or a girl you know to just make me you know just really hurt my feelings well um, <clears throat> that kind of started a chain of events um, I burnt my hair out with curling irons um, not knowing how to use them um, anytime my hair did reach a length and you know I just saw the golden hot curling iron I had no idea to look at the setting before and I just curled my hair started about here and I heard a big deep crunch um I had jerry curls um as a child and you know I would go through this phase where I didn't want to wear my jerry curl that day so I would blow dry it straight well when you did that um if your hair became very dry and brittle and Really, it was just a lot of things that um, happened. Um, the back of my hair for a long time would not grow past a certain length before it would break off. And so for many years, I just gave up on the idea of ever having long hair. Um, I've always wanted long hair because my sister had long hair, but I just gave up on the idea. Um, so I, for many years, from like 14 to about age but 32 um, I wore my hair in a, in a bob type style short cropped hairstyle um, short style no length and it wasn't really until the fact um, it wasn't until I got really heavy into my career um, as a journalist where I started to um, wear wigs because I could not keep up with my hair um, I would get called out as a crime reporter. You get called out all kinds, of, all times of the day. If you want to get the scoop, you got it. You know, snap to it. So it, murders, crimes tend to happen at night and or the wee hours, uh, wee hours of the morning. And um, I would have to go on on the double. And my hair was the last thing that I wanted to deal with in situations like that. For so for about five years, I wore. <laughs> wigs consistently and there were missteps I mean I wore wigs too long without proper hair care and my hair knotted up and it, um, it, it turned into dreadlocks and, and I would have to get layers cut in my hair so so many missteps and then the last straw came and I turned about 32 or 34 where um my hair, I was given a bad dye job and my hair just was long at that time and um, well shoulder length rather and at that that was like the longest my hair had ever been and because it was damaged, the damage started up here yes up here so all of my hair just slowly but surely just fell out, broke off, and for like two years straight, 
Um, I had to just get trims and work on conditioning my hair so that I could cut it off little bit by little bit and not be traumatized. So that's kind of how I came to my healthy hair care journey due to the results of the bad dye job that I received from a stylist. And I'm not saying all stylists are bad, but um, that one definitely was. And... Um, and because of that, you know, I paid the price. Now, since then, I have taken full responsibility over what happened to me. And I know um, now that it, it was missteps on both of our parts. Um, I should have been more, um, I don't know, I, you couldn't tell me no if I wanted something, especially, you know, to, done to my hair. So... If I was a little more receptive to what the hairdresser was trying to tell me, maybe I wouldn't have had that problem. But, um, yeah, in any case, it kind of led me to my healthy hair care journey. That and the fact that I was having trouble finding work and I wasn't able to keep up my with my hair. Um, I'm the type of person who relies on hairdressers um, for shampoos, um, relaxers, trims, colors, what have you, major professional things. I'm the type of person who happily relies on these people. And when I couldn't get to the hairdresser on a regular basis, um, I was forced to kind of research how to care for my hair, how to stretch relaxers, you know, how to transition or how to care for your hair when it's transitioning. And, you know, just just um, that coupled with me trying to repair my damaged hair um, kind of got me on a solid footing. So, since November of 2008, that's when my healthy hair care journey started, um, I have been working diligently to grow my hair um, to get it really healthy and um, learn how to manage it. It's something that I still struggle with. Um, my hair is very thick. Um, I don't know if you could tell now. It's very thick, but it's also very fine. Um, I have 4A hair. Um, it has a very curly texture and um, wispy ends. <laughs> and uh, it can be a doozy to kind of care for because I never really learned how to take care of my own, my own hair, except for the fact of the last five years, um, or four years, going on four years rather. That's when I learned how to take care of my hair. And I've still, I've still made, um, I have still had a lot of missteps uh, with detangling and, and things of that sort that I'm still trying to work out. But uh, through it all, I learned that, you know, through God, Anything is possible, and with my hair, um, I know that if I stay on course, that I will reach, achieve, you know, healthy, um, healthy hair, healthy relaxed hair. I know that um, I could care for my hair. I know how to properly care for my hair, and even though I have um, struggled with maintaining length, um, I know that. I am a, a success story because knowing where I came from, mm -hmm. bald head little girl <laughs> at nine years old with, you know, hair that was like cut close, like I said, like a boy, to now having, you know, full length, full hair. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but, uh, you know, hair that, you know, is past... Past, uh, past bra strap length and it's, uh, let's see, quickly, you know, past the bra strap, I'm not, I'm sorry, past armpit length and it's in between armpit length and bra strap length and that's my goal, bra strap length. Um, so I'm still working towards that goal. And um, I would have loved to reach my goal in a year's time, but because of missteps, I haven't haven't made it. But at the same time, I know that I'm still a success story because 
before that wasn't my goal my goal was just to have hair you know um any length um and not through a fluke of me wearing wigs where my hair grew long but I, I knew nothing about it I knew nothing how to care for it and as a result I've lost my hair at least uh twice twice before because I didn't know how to care for it after it had grew to a certain length and I just want ladies out there to just never give up to never listen to people who say that you can't do because people who say you can't do are always getting tripped up by people who are already doing it and you know there's so many times where I'm because I tend to stretch my relaxers every three months and the first two months are are pretty easy to deal with it's just that last month where I have the trouble and made you know dealing with the two textures of hair and I've stretched my relaxer six months five months as long as seven months and it really hasn't gotten any easier to learn how to transition or care for two textures of hair and so I have struggled but there have been times where I just thought about you know what going back to my bobbed hair wearing wigs but I'm glad that I always persevered and I never gave up. I use ladies like Tracy of Kiss and and uh, Shima Hair and um, what's that other girl's name? Can't think of her name. Shorty Too, too Sweet and um, who else? Marshery and uh, some others. Uh, Megs, you love Megs, as as an inspiration to keep going. And even though my growth and my success is not what their success is, you know, I'm still happy for the success. So I just want to tell ladies, just I hear people out there, you know, if you're if it's not in your genes, your hair won't grow a certain length. Well, that's BS because my hair has never been this length ever in my life. Never in my wildest dreams. I mean, even to this day, I'm still getting used to it. I'm still trying to learn how to, you know, maintain this length. And I've had situations where I'm not prepared. Like uh, when I'm getting out of a car and uh, or just getting in my car. Say, for example, if I go get my hair done, my hair is so bouncy. I'm not used to bouncy hair. <laughs> and my car and my hair just be just so bouncy and flowy and free and you know I almost feel like those days when I go get my hair done I need a driver because I feel like I can't see because my hair just you know for a while I had a Mustang convertible and my hair just be it so it's some some learning curves learning how to maintain it my hair is actually in layers right now um cut in layers uh I gotta cut in layers because of practical reasons but um and other funny things uh trying to roll up your car door or your car window and your hair get, getting stuck I mean these are problems I never had before so I, I just even you know um everything that has happened to me um I persevered through it um, I've tried to share some of my experience on my channel. I haven't shared everything, but I've shared, you know, the most part, a lot of things um, that are very helpful. I'm going to do more videos um, on hair care. And, uh, but my main thing is really not about styles. It's mainly about um, telling people, you know, um, how to, the basics of hair care. And, and and the essentials because with those basics and those essentials you can get to any goal and that's 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 my thing um, it's not what product you use all the time um, even though products do help you know but it's not 
really what the issue is really is how you care for your hair how do you care for it at night do you moisturize and seal do you condition your hair do you get the ends trim things like that that really really set the tone how do you detangle your hair are you careful you know these things are really going to get you to the next level making sure what kind of comb you're using what kind of brush you're using little things so i'm going to do another video that's going to you know give people the basics um and also talk about things that have really worked for me but I, but if you're out there and you have just started your hair care journey and you are perhaps struggling with your hair with your new growth or if you're going natural and you're you're thinking about throwing in the drop towel and just relying solely on a hairdresser to, to know how to manage your hair I implore you to to keep going and don't lose faith just use other ladies who are where you want to be and just rely on them for um, for your strength you know just keep going you know have faith in God and 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 believe in yourself and you can you can achieve what you're trying to achieve so if um, if there is ever a doubt that you know you can overcome odds let me be um, an example because I have overcome some great odds. Like I said, me and my hair, we have struggled all of my life. And even, you know, <laughs> people that have known me all of my life, when I go to see them, they look at my hair and they're like, what is this? Because I've always had short hair, damaged hair, just troubled hair. And... Um, so even a lot of people who see, you know, get back in touch with me on Facebook, they're like, "This, this is not you," you know. <laughs> so, so I just know that uh, don't believe the hype. Don't let people discourage you because they will. They don't understand why we're buying all these ingredients that we should be using in our food for our hair, the olive oil, the coconut oil, all these things, all these expensive products. But if you persevere, you will make great strides and you will reach your goals thank you for watching and you have a great day bye bye